everyone and welcome to AC Mystery and in today's video I'm going to be testing out some Animal Crossing New Horizons glitches that I found pretty interesting. Alright so the first glitch that we have up is the unlimited Nook Mile glitch and what you're going to need to do is get out of the game, go to system settings and then you're going to need to go to the date and time. So what we're going to do here is we're going to change it to the new year. So January 1st of any year any year will work i'm just gonna leave it at 2021 and then from there we're going to change the time to a new day in animal crossing which is 5 a.m from there you're gonna want to leave a little bit of cushion time so i'm gonna do 4:58, you know so then i don't have to rush or anything and then you're gonna exit out of the game completely and then it will know that it's a new day so then you're gonna log back in and Isabel will start talking about how it's the new year and celebrating everything but that's because it's still the day before and then it's gonna load you're gonna go back into your house so then it will load the new day you're gonna go into the residential services and then you're gonna go over to the machine and it should give you up to 500 nook miles which is actually a lot and from here you're going to just repeat that process over and over again until eventually you get as many nook miles as you want and it's actually pretty efficient because it doesn't take too much time to just like go back two minutes and then you know reload the day and it's actually really useful for the update especially with cap-in and the rides being 1000 miles so it's actually pretty useful Okay, so next up we have the duplication glitch. And to do this, you're gonna need a little bit of help from a friend. So I have Sarah's Island open and I'm gonna go over and visit it. And that's basically, you know, the main thing that you need for this glitch is to have someone to be able to visit. And yeah, so I just have it searching for a friend. Okay, and now that we're on our way over to the island, you need to make sure that you have whatever you want to duplicate in your pockets at this point. You need to take it over to the island with you. Okay, and then you're just going to drop all the items that you want to duplicate here on the island. Don't worry, you'll get them back eventually. You'll actually get double the amount. And then right after you drop all of them, you're going to want to go... You're just going to leave. You don't want it to save before you leave. Just leave right away before it like, auto-saves. You're going to go back into the airport, ask Orville to take you back, and then... Once you get to the loading screen, you have to wait for three full rotations. That is very important because I tried this multiple times and it didn't work for like three attempts. And I was wondering why it wasn't. It's because I didn't wait three times. So then after that, I even waited a fourth because I did this so many times. If you turn off your switch, turn it back on. It should give you that message. And yeah, you're going to head back over to the island. I kind of speeded it up a little bit. You should have the items still there at their island, plus the ones that are in your pocket. So that's basically how you double the items that you want. You could obviously do this with other items, I just chose random ones. Alright, so the next glitch, and also the final one for this video, is going to be the campsite villager glitch. That sounds a little bit confusing, but basically what it is, is you know how whenever you're trying to invite a villager into your island, they always choose the one villager you don't want to leave. So this is how you can make any villager leave of your choice. So basically you just need to win the little game that they're going to do for you, which also took me a long time because I could not guess which everyone 
It's mainly based off luck, so it took me a really long time, but we eventually got it. And from that point, they're going to talk to residential services, and it's going to recommend just any random villager to leave. And for this one, they wanted Stitches, my favorite villager, to leave. And I was like, Stitches is not leaving. This is not going to happen. So if you go any further than the point of when they say the name of the villager who wants to leave, this glitch will not work. So make sure you don't go past that point. From here, you're going to press the home button. You're going to just exit out of the game and then basically just go back into it. Once you're back in, you're going to have to try to get them to want to move in and also play the game again and win, which might take a little while, but it's worth it if you really want the villager who is in your campsite. And then from this point, they're going to ask again. But remember, if you do it before, like if you go past the point of when they say which villager it is, it's just going to keep constantly saying the same villager. So it's a very important that you don't go past that point. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So this time it said Lolly, which I still don't want Lolly to move out. So we're just going to have Apollo stay here in the campsite. Or if you want to keep going and doing the glitch, just right as it says Lolly or whatever villager it asks to leave, just exit out and do it over again. Well, thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And if you did and you want to see more glitches like this, let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and test those out too. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and it's going to be AC Mystery signing out.